Ladies and gentlemen, over the past few months, there has been a trend occurring that you may have been noticing, that I have certainly been noticing. It isn't new, but it is happening again in waves to a lot of large name creators. And that is they are either being forced off the platform by being embroiled in controversy, or they're just straight up quitting, leaving YouTube. And my question to you and to myself in this video is why? Now, some of the YouTubers that I mentioned in this video, you may not be familiar with. Some of them I'm not necessarily familiar with because I don't watch them, but they do hold large channels and they broadcast to a very large audience, which they've been doing for over a decade on average. A couple of the most notable names that have recently decided to step away from YouTube or adjust their position on YouTube are most critical. Uh, after his Sneeko debate on whether whether or not a child should be given hormone altering drugs, which is a completely different topic that we're not going to get into in this video. He decided that he was going to take a step back from YouTube. Now his reasoning in the video update that he gave was that he needed to take time to focus on his mental health and his life outside of YouTube, which is a perfectly valid 100% legitimate reason to step away from anything, not just YouTube. Mental health fortunately has come onto the scene over the last five to ten years as a real and relevant issue which of course it most certainly is so there is no reason to be upset at yourself or at somebody for taking a step back from anything in order to address their mental health. Moist Critical had over 15 million subscribers, well, still has over 15 million subscribers. So obviously an extremely large channel, undoubtedly earning a very large amount of revenue every year. Uh, however, after the last major debate that he had with Sneeko on his channel, it seems that he has decided to adjust his position and take a step back. We also have the legendary Asmund Gold, the human caveman himself. He has decided uh, perhaps not to take a step back from YouTube, but that his physical health has recently come into question and he is going to need to adjust his position on YouTube and in his own life to address this. Uh, I don't 100% know what may or may not be going on with him. This is simply information that I gathered while watching one of his review videos. He ended up having some tests done, I believe, that came back with less than stellar results. He ended up going to the hospital. I don't know, he was having some, some physical pains that scared him, gave him a bit of a scare. And Asmongold has been pretty uh, outspoken about the fact that, you know, he doesn't really live a glamorous lifestyle. He's not uh, uh, probably taking care of himself quite as much as he should be. Uh, it is a part of his reputation. But there's only so, uh, so much time that can go by of you treating Treating, uh, you know yourself this way uh, before it comes back to bite you in the butt and unfortunately that seems to be where he is so here we have another channel uh, that is right up there has a long and lengthy track record plenty of viewers uh, who is also having to adjust their position on YouTube take a step back of course by now the entire world is aware of the mr. beast fallout uh, as well as the doctor disrespect fallout that story of course is still developing in how doctor disrespect plans to come back plans to uh, hopefully somehow uh, rectify, dignify, justify the situation to salvage what's left of his name and his career. Mr. Beast, however, seems to be in a, uh, a much faster sinking ship. Uh, this situation with him, his companies, his employees, Chris Tyson, and all of the weird uh, PDF uh, sexual stuff that's going on amongst these people's ranks has caused probably one of the largest fallouts of the largest YouTuber in content creation history. Uh, Doc was right up there with one of the biggest streamers in the world, but Mr. Beast certainly pa outpasses, or surpasses rather, everyone in terms of overall following. 
I'll touch a little bit more on that later. Now, the, the list goes on and on. Another, you know, couple of notable people, Matt Pat of Game Theorist, Captain Sparkles had over 11 million uh, subscribers. They're, the list goes on and on. But the point is, is that people are leaving YouTube. They're they're quitting YouTube. They're, they're leaving it behind. And there's a myriad of reasons for this, a couple I've already touched on. Uh, one of which is that, you know, a lot of these people have, have had really long careers. And I don't think this is something a lot of folks on YouTube realize you see these successful folks you see the glitz and the glam I've said it before I'll say it again YouTube is in its own way its own little version of Hollywood but what you don't see is that it takes years and years to get to these positions if you ever do get to these positions and a lot of these people have been doing YouTube for 10 15 years of their life of their family their career their job their hobbies their friends YouTube has been in the pinnacle in these people's lives, which is to lead right into one of the other major reasons, family. I mean, YouTube is tough, and I'm not gonna sit here, I will make jokes about YouTube being one of the hardest jobs in the world, but you know, YouTube isn't, isn't you know, like being in the in the military, but YouTube is, is, is difficult in its own way. It takes a lot of time to, to get good at YouTube to learn YouTube, to learn streaming, to learn content creation, to optimize for your audience. It takes a lot of time, a lot of hours in the dark with nobody watching for years, one, two, three years, most of the time for most people before you receive any type of real success. And by real success, I mean success that has the potential to change your current situation. Now, my third sort of thing there is, is your mental and physical health have to be at the top of the list when you're doing anything, man. Your mental and physical health are all you have. If you lose your health or you lose your mind, it doesn't matter what the hell you're doing or what the hell you wanna do. It's over, it's done until you get yourself recentered and rebalanced, it's done. Now, of course, to touch on the last point and you know the most click worthy point of why a lot of these YouTubers aren't necessarily just quitting but are being forced out is that they're becoming embroiled in controversy. Mr. Beast being embroiled in controversy amongst his employees, amongst uh, the people in his crew, the people he associates with, people he's affiliated himself with, uh, you know, how he's made his videos, the legitimacy of his videos, of his practices, and just the weird, ever-prevailing, -pre bizarre phenomena that is beyond me in every way of the association with young people. I don't get it. I never will get it. You could have anything and anyone at any time. You could do anything. And I don't get it, but we see it time and time again in high levels of, of, of success and notoriety and achievement where these people across many, many industries just end up doing fucked up shit with young folks. And I don't understand it. You know, unfortunately, the same thing happened with Doc. And I was a huge, huge fan of Doc. Watched him regularly. And I'm waiting and, and genuinely hoping that he's able to come to the table with something legitimate to help salvage his name. Otherwise, I really just don't know what's going to happen there. I don't understand it. Controversy surrounding the things that, you know, Moist Critical kind of found himself in with the, with the uh, transgender movement and giving, you know, hormone replacement therapy to children children and things like that. These, these are very touchy subjects. You obviously have to be very careful when you talk about these types of subjects because we live in such a hypersensitive era. We live in such a hypersensitive era where people will focus on any one little thing. You've got a whole generation of keyboard warriors who are just waiting to hyper focus on one thing and drag it out as long as humanly possible. And after that, the weight of that and the backlash to that and the, you know, the, the, uh, the communication around that in, in his community and online probably just, you know, made him realize in his own mind, okay, I think I'm going to do something a little different for a little while and take a step back from this. And again, the list goes on and on and on. Streaming and content creation nowadays is, it's bizarre. It's a weird, it's a weird place to be. And I've said that before in multiple videos. It has become a very strange form of content cons consumption. It is very, it's become a very strange form of quote unquote inner 
entertainment. And I say it that way because the large majority of it is is really not entertaining at all. It's reactionary. Uh, it's it's it, it does not represent the true nature of what streaming and content creation about a subject should really be about. Now I'm speaking from a gaming perspective, but a lot of it is just so over the top and and, and completely unrelated to anything in the space or where it began. It's just lost a lot of its core value and roots because people are willing to do and talk about anything for a response. So I've got a small message for those of you out there who are contemplating becoming YouTubers, hearing all of this and potentially seeing the downfall of a lot of large YouTubers or people just quitting the platform. I do still fully believe that if you want to be a content creator, you should go for it, but that you need to have realistic expectations and you really need to understand why you're doing it. I made an entire video on that. It's it's something that you really need to have in place before jumping headfirst in because watching what you watch and seeing it at the highest level or seeing all the controversy and the drama, that's not going to carry you far enough to realize any true potential or true success on the platform. And that's coming from a small creator who's going through that day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month grind. You've got to have a firmer foundation or you're just not going to be able to stick it out. Now, the good news, the sort of the only good news about all of this is that with the parting of these larger creators, it's opening up new avenues for other creators to step in. So it's unfortunate when it's for a negative reason, uh, like controversy or health, but some of these things people did to themselves. Health, maybe not so much, maybe not directly. The controversy, absolutely. But try to think of it as a door opening for you to, to start to carve your own lane. You know, people step away and new people come in. So if it's something you really want to go after, then I still suggest doing that. If anything, as people continue to part with YouTube, there will be new opportunity for up and coming creators to make their own way in YouTube. So to summarize this video and my thoughts on it all, as I've been observing this happen, and again, it happens, you know, it happens. This isn't new. It happens in waves, I suppose, but it's been a, uh, a wild few months as far as content creators on YouTube dropping off. And I think the overall message here should, should be that YouTube is not every everything, okay? Content creation is not 24-7. And every YouTube video out there about how to become successful and every grind hard all day, all night YouTuber would tell you that that's complete bullshit. But the proof is in the pudding, people. Content creation is a means to an end, okay? It's not 24-7. It's damn near close, but you've got to get outside. You've got to get fresh air. You've got to remain grounded in your core values and in the real world because these people that you're watching that you look up to that you follow that you have a good time with they're real people they're not superheroes they're not idols they're just people who have put the time in and garnered an audience that's it that's all it is all journeys come to an end and if you're lucky if you work hard enough and you make the right moves and the right connections at the right time then whatever journey you're on will last a good time 10, 15, 20 years for you. It'll be a beautiful, blossoming, fulfilling career. But that journey will come to an end for you. So try your best to remember that there are other parts of life outside of content creation, outside of your job, outside of whatever it is that you think is the most important thing in the world to you. There are other things outside of that that deserve attention and hold equal weight. Your health, physically, mentally, spiritually, your family, your friends, your loved ones. It is a grind, you guys. It is a grind. It's a tough one. So with that, I say to you, good luck. Continue to go after it like I am. I think the journey is a hell of a lot of fun. Establish your foundation, your why, your core values, so that when you're involved in this type of thing and you climb that ladder and you see things and you hear things, maybe you achieve a little bit of success, you know what to look out for, you know what's you, and you know what's not you. 
you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Please let me know what you think about any creators that you've seen fall off the map or quit YouTube, what you think the state of content creation is. We do stream live here three days a week on YouTube and on Twitch. We just hit 50 followers on Twitch. Thank every one of you for coming through to the Twitch channel, dropping a line, dropping a follow. We're just waiting on that in affiliate invitation, baby. It's on its way. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you online. Thank you.